We have the Dreaming Pool. Gain a champion that fits your team. Extra loot in Scuttle Puddle. And then a Void Hex that empowers units but moves. Yeah, I definitely want to try Scuttle Puddle because I haven't actually seen what the extra loot is. And that one guy was trying to ping his own to get everyone to join. Oh, so it's all PvE monsters. I didn't think it would be like first round and everything too. That's interesting. So this is Tristani. She's a Yordle and a Gunner. We started with a Katarina. We got a Belt. I haven't gotten to try Noxus yet. Maybe I end up Noxus. I think I'm supposed to just buy everything here. I'll just put in a second Tristani for now. I'm supposed to buy these units too though. We're just trying to play to win. Oh, so they don't even attack the units? Weird. So we got Jin, another Oriana. This is Togath too. Cassiopeia. I'm supposed to hit 10 here, right? Can I hit 10? I think I can hit 10. Yeah, definitely supposed to just hit 10. Gain my interest. <laughs> They're running away from the Togath. He can't get him. He like gave up waiting for them to come to him. Okay, so we got Prismatic. I've done too many rogue games. I know rogue's very good. Five extra items seems kind of insane. But I'm gonna try Tome of Traits. Noxus Emblem or Piltover Emblem? Piltover Emblem, I'm gonna go Noxus. All right, double Noxus Emblem. Yeah, we just go all Noxus here. I should have leveled there probably. Let's look around. Demacia, Sorcerer, Gunner, Yordles, Demacia, Bastion, Bruiser. So I should be alone in Noxus. That's nice. I think I can still win this. That's why I slammed the item. Yeah, I feel like this legend, Earth, is probably just one of the best ones. All right, there's a Samira. We definitely level now. Add in Samira. I, if I had like a Rek'Sai, I'd probably add that in. These are not gonna be my Noxus units, right? I'm looking at what the other Noxus are. Darius Katarina. So it's like a Darius Katarina reroll comp. But I can add in Kaisa or Yasuo, probably Kaisa as a Noxus. That seems good. I think I'm gonna do that. Add in Kaisa as a Noxus. For now, I'll just keep playing Best Award. But we're gonna end up as nine Noxus. No Noxus units here. I'm gonna sell set to hit 30. Let's look around. Bastion Shadow Isles, zero gold. Bastion with a Piltover emblem and the Bastion emblem, okay. Demacia, Demacia, Bruiser Sorcerer, Deadeye, Yordle. This guy could beat me. He double leveled. I just don't want to double level. Yeah, I'm definitely losing. I know Cassiopeia is probably, a, I think she's a backline unit too. All right, what do I want? I have third pick. Like Rod maybe, or another Cloak. I think I'm gonna take Armor actually. Just build a Gargoyles for now, and it gives me Void. Just makes my board better. We'll still continue to hold all the Noxus units, but we want to try and fast level here. So what we do is this, add in Void, this up front, and then we'll give him a Stone Plate. So right now we could be at five Noxus. We can only hit 38 gold, so we definitely buy two units. I actually think I'm supposed to level. Yeah, I'm supposed to be level five here. I'm not adding in either of these. I'm gonna sell them. I think I, yeah, I still get the win, luckily. If I didn't get the win, it's bad for me. All right, none of these are Noxus units. There's a Sorcerer in, Orion or in Oriana. 
Okay, go ahead and level. Definitely just supposed to put in Orianna and have Sorcerer in. That's my best board. And wins are big here. So every time you win with Noxus, you get an extra 10% bonus. So they gain health, ability, power, and attack damage. And all of them are increased by 10% by either people you have beat or people that are dead. And right now I'm at 30%. So I've beaten three different people. There's a Samira. Right, Oriana, I don't actually care about that much. So I'm going to put her over there. We probably want to roll some at seven with this comp, I would think. So we have two Noxus emblems. We're going to play Scion, Katarina, Darius, Swain, Kled, five, uh, six, seven. So we need two more. So it's like Samira, Malthazar, leave out Cassiopeia, I think. All right, we get a free level here. We need to add in probably Aurelia now. Just add in Challenger. We have an Archangels. Archangels is not great here. We can still only hit five. Because we, yeah, uh, actually, we can hit six here, right? We take out Oriana. We might be able to hit six here. I'm going to look at it in a second. If we can hit six here, that's definitely just the play, I think. That should increase my Noxus bonus. Did. Uh, a Noxus Heart? That means we only have to play five no or six Noxus units, right? Bulk is okay. We're going to go Noxus Heart. All right, so now we definitely get in Noxus. Do this, I think. Yeah. Six Noxus. Swain might be better here. Yeah, Swain's better. All right, so we can sell Aurelia. And we can sell Oriana now. And we're just going to try and level. We have six Noxus. So they're all gaining a whole bunch of health, ability, power, and attack speed. Or attack damage, not attack speed. I wonder how big this is now. 2,766. There is a chance I just keep in three void now, right? I think I do keep in three void for the rest of the game but it ends up being Kaisa instead of Rek'Sai. That seems good. Is this better here? Probably. So we're playing the last three as these three. The Rek'Sai comes out, we add in Kaisa. Okay. We have a plan. We have a plan for what we're doing. And we're at 60%, so we only need to beat one more person, and we have the highest possible bonus. One more person that we have not beaten before. It's important to note that. I don't know if that was actually a different opponent. Right, there's a Kaisa here with a bow. I would love to pick that up. Very unlikely. There isn't a four cost that I care about. For Noxus, they're all threes. Best possible here is this, though. I have a chance to get it. I am going to get the Kaisa. Sweet. All right, so Kaisa is going to replace this Rek'Sai immediately. Actually, I could just add her in for now. What's good on her? So she wants to deal magic damage. I think Rage Blade is good on her. So, like, Rage Blade. And then I was actually thinking JG Archangels. And we're definitely strong enough to hit eight here. Oh, and we have the max bonus. So let's go eight. We're going to go fast eight, roll down, hit all of our units at a two star. And then from there, we'll go level nine. I don't actually need the Cassiopeia and stuff here, right? I could also change out one of these void units for a Belveth later. So like this guy can go out for a Belveth. Samira is in, so I guess I just sell the... Cassiopeia. Oh, he has Yordles and he has two of them three starred. He needs three, though, for the major buff. I think he should still beat me here. But he does need three of them to get the big buff. 
Hey, more permanent health. At this point, Togath is staying forever, I think. Oh, wait, I win this? I should not win that. Cho'gath is here for the long run. I still haven't seen my Darius or Katarina. If I did, I just rolled over him by accident. So we're fast aiding here. We roll down. Belts. I don't need double echo. There's another tier. There's a Swain. All right, what's going in now? Slayer? Could just throw in Castiopia for now. There's another Cho'gath. I need to have two more units in. And I need to think about what I'm doing with these items really quick. Let's go Giant Slayer. Blue buff is bad on her. Yeah, one of my Void units comes out. We're rerolling Grab Bag. After your first enemy dies each round, your units deal 25% increased. Kind of like that. Yeah, this comes out, and in goes another Noxus unit. I haven't seen the other Noxus units. That's what I'm worried about. There's Katarina. Okay. I really want this to be an Archangels. So I guess I do slam a Redemption, probably on Swain, right? I think that's correct. This guy rolled down completely. I don't want to roll down completely because I do want to hit level 9. I can sell this Cho'Gath. Right, Katarina. One of these Void units comes out. I think it's just Rek'Sai. Let's do this. And now I think I just passed 9. Seems weird. I just don't have upgrades. That's what I'm worried about. So I should be taking a lot of damage here. Frel Horde 3, Piltover 4, Rogues, Frel Horde, Sorcerers, Sharima, Demacia, and then me. Yeah, I think we just have the fast 9 from here. If we see Darius, then he's going to replace Cassiopeia immediately. And then our ninth add-in is Scion. Item-wise, we want a rod here. The rod is on a Scion. There's no way we get it. Yeah, Shrek got swag, took it. He's not going to play it, though. Right? Bruiser, Noxus. I guess he could play it. So, if that's the case, what do I want, then? Like a sword, I guess. I could Spear of Shojiner. Because we basically just want her to use that attack as much as possible. Alright, so we want to add in Scion and Darius over Cassiopeia. Oh, Katarina should be up here. Yeah, Scion and Darius. That's who we're looking for on our roll down. It's going to be Scion, Darius, and actually uh, Belveth as well because Belveth can replace the this guy, Malthazar. And I'll actually make the uh, Belveth into a Noxious unit. Is this a win? I guess he's also going level nine. If he's also going level nine, it's kind of understandable. I probably am supposed to nine after this. There's no one else playing Void either. Or Challenger, right? So I have the chance of getting Kaisa 3 on this roll down. What did I get? Cloak, sword, armor. Oh, okay, that's cool. There's Darius as well. I could go ahead. It's add in Scion, and then we're done. Scion actually adds in Bruiser too.
We hit level 9 next turn no matter what. I think it's fine for me to throw one. It's going to be a huge spike. All right. There's Katarina. Don't care. There's Belveth. Belveth replaces here. Another Belveth. There's Kaisa too. There's Scion. And now we have nine. So now where do these items go? I shouldn't have sold Darius. I sold him by accident. I don't mind like Bloodthirster here. And then just armor here. And now we're just rolling. All right, we have those. So now it's, it's literally just Scion Belveth, right? Unless there is another Void unit that's better than Shogath at this point. Oh, there's Belveth too. Sweet. I mean, that was just a big jump for me. So it's, it's literally just Scion too that I'm missing for the comp. The question is, is the comp strong enough? I mean, with the amount of health and everything I'm getting, I should win every round. There's no Scion here. What's the item I want? I have enough tank items. I guess Ionic Spark is still just what I want. We're going to Ionic Spark Swain. Here's another Scion. Katarina. I guess I don't care about that at this point. Are there any other better Noxus units? No. Yeah, I'm just looking for Scion too, and then I'm done. So I guess I save now. Save until I take another loss. This is the guy that's wind streaking with four Frel Horde. I don't know what else I would be looking for if I'm rolling. I think this is as strong as I'm gonna get. 3,570. I wish I could see how much he's gained just from his ability. Oh, it does say 630. So he's gained 630 health just from his ability. This is the guy that has five health, but I'm playing against his ghost, it looks like. And I do win. Does he win against the other guy? He does. So he got lucky he played against the other guy and not me. Oh, never mind, he died. No, top three. Top three, all we're looking for is Scion, the giant crab. Samira looks so scuffed. What is going on with her face? Y'all see that? Like, Kaisa looks normal. What's up with her face? Uh, TG Locket. What I'm looking at. I think I take Locket. We'll put the Locket on Scion. And do this. This guy just hit Rise 2. He's holding Scions. This is the win streaker, so if I win here, we'll know. They, he also has the three star T Hex in Pilto. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is. He is insane. I'm still gonna win. He is really strong, though. Did this guy also fight me? Oh, there's Scion. So. What is... He was just holding them to keep me from getting it. I guess I'm looking for Belveth. I'm just saving up for a big roll down at this point. None of us are hitting any three stars. We're all level nine for the most part. It looks like this guy did face the other guy last round, not me. So we'll see how he does now. He's going to beat me. So I beat this guy. He Okay, right now, Lajanus is beating everyone. And he's holding Scions. Why are you holding Scions? He doesn't even, he's not even playing it, right? Yeah, I just want to know why he's holding him. I have been beating this guy. So I should be fine here. And I don't know how I feel about his 
keeping everything together there. That seems bad for him because of my Kaisa ult. Yeah, I still beat him. He's just going to hold Scions. That's kind of lame. Do any of these do anything? Morellian. I guess I could cup. I have to roll. The cup goes here. And I do this. Another Kaisa. Another Kaisa. So top two. Looks like it's gonna be a second. I don't know why he was holding this. Should do that. Get max value. Max locket value. Yeah, whatever's hitting my entire board every with all these chills. I guess it's Frel Horde. It's really good. Yep, GG's. But I'll take a second. Wait, I'm not dead yet? I'm not dead yet. I still don't know why he's holding those. This is definitely not best in slot, by the way, for Kaisa. Guardbreaker, i.e. Static Shiv. I guess it's Guardbreaker, Belveth. No Kaisas. I better have gotten that swap off. Oh my, it didn't work. That's so sad. Yep, GG. I'll take a second here. If you enjoyed watching the video, make sure to sub and catch my daily content.